What's up, everybody? Surreal. Coming to ya. One and only small fry show. So on today's video, kind of picking up on where we left off on on the last video. Oh, Johnny Love behind me, D.O.T. Um, picking up where we left off on the last video. Just in mental health. Uh, but before we get too deep in this thing, you already know what I need you to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join the family. Also, the views and topics expressed in these videos do not represent the company that I work for. I am not a spokesperson for a said company. Now that we got that out of the way, how's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody having a good day, good night, wherever time of day this reaches you. This rain is lingering on. It's been rainy and windy the last, since Sunday pretty much. It's supposed to rain the next three days, so yeah. Um, but I want to continue on this this topic because it's it's been placed on my heart for some reason, and I want to you know talk about it in depth. So you know we talked about mental health and why it's important and things like that. But I believe that in some certain circumstances we have an ability to control our thoughts. You know. Um, I've seen a meme and it, you know, it said meditation. The goal of meditation is not to control your thoughts. It's to stop your thoughts from controlling you. And our thoughts will kind of dictate things sometimes. And that's why I say it a lot. Your mind will play tricks on you. It'll, it'll meet you where you are. If you're in turmoil, you're going to think those type of thoughts. And, and that kind of that, that's like gasoline on the fire that's already lit. Instead of putting the fire out, we add to it, you know, inadvertently sometimes. And sometimes it takes to, maybe you need a day or two by yourself to gather your thoughts. And then come back from a level-headed standpoint. Because the bad days are going to come. You know, you're going to have bad days. You're going to have days where you're down. You're going to have days where you ain't feeling it. And for me, I have those days sometimes, and I really, nobody's done anything to me. I can sit there and say, man, I don't know what's going on, and, and nobody's done anything. It's not that I'm in a bad mood, I'm just not in the greatest mood. And those days are going to happen, but it's all on how you react to it, how you respond. You don't want to let that sit there and stew on that for a week. So I always say, feel your emotion. It comes, it happens, feel it. Understand what got you to that point. If it's something that triggered you, if it's something that somebody said, some way somebody made you feel, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, whatever it is, feel it. Because if you don't feel it and understand it, it's going to keep coming and you ain't going to understand where or why it's coming. And you're just going to keep reliving that vicious cycle over and over and over. It's never going to go away. So feel it. Explain, explain it. Express it. Then move on. Don't stay there. Whatever you do, do not stay in that place. And I know certain things, it's easier said than done. I get it. But the key to manifestation and things like that is that you got to already believe it. You got to already know it's yours. When you wake up, it's going to be a good day. It's a great day. I got breath in my body. Yeah, my bills may be late. I may be not know how I'm eating, but I got breath in my body, so I can I can make an attempt to fix those things. Without that breath in your body, nothing matters. Nothing matters. You had grace and mercy at that, that, that moment, whether it's the morning or the afternoon or 
nighttime when you woke up, you were shown grace and mercy in that moment. That's when you can begin to tackle the day. It's going to be a great day. I'm going to have a great day. Not I hope, not I wish. Hoping and wishing ain't got you nowhere. You got to believe it. You got to believe that that job is yours. You got to believe that that promotion is yours. Once you believe it, you will speak it and you will claim it. Because it's, it's the, the universe reacts to our thoughts. It does. And then when we think that way and something bad happens, and we look and say, I told you so, not even, not even realizing that we've conditioned our brain to expect that. So now it's, I told you so. But we almost spoke that. The tongue is powerful. You got to believe it. Believe in yourself. Even if in your back of your mind, you don't know how you're going to make a way. You put that smile on your face and you say, you know what, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it happen. Everything's going to be all right. Even with tears in your eyes, you may have to say everything's going to be all right. But feel those bad days as well as you do the good ones. And understand why you got to that point on that moment. What led to that? If you don't know, you may need to dig a little deeper. Was it a smell? Was it a, uh, you've had a long week at work. You're not happy with work. You, you got things going on in your personal life, you know? Whatever led you to that point, feel it. That way you can learn from it. And, and, and one step at a time, one step, one day. You may take three steps forward and two backwards. Five steps forward, but ten backwards. But you got to get back up and keep pushing, keep going. And, you know, exhaust all the resources you have. Reach out to somebody. And that's why I keep saying, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make a platform to where I'm hoping I can bridge the gap. Even if it's one person where I can bridge the gap. Because you don't never know who these videos are touching in that moment. I, I, on my last video, I received a, a, a special email that totally knocked me off my feet. Knocked me off my feet. And it gave me so much gratitude and warmth in my heart to read that email. I read it four or five times. And I said, wow. You just never know what people are going through, what people need. And a little goes a long way. I say it at the end of my videos because I mean it. Be the reason that somebody smiles. The world needs it now more than ever. Smiling is free. But yet it's so contagious. It's highly contagious. It's touchable. You can smile at somebody and touch them without actually touching them. A smile is warm. Be kind in today's world. Be kind with the food industry, the restaurant workers. Be kind at the gas station. Just be kind in general. It's not always going to be that way. I'm not a sunshine pumper. I'm not going to get up here and say every day is sunshine and roses. No, I have my rainy days and I have my bad days and I have my days where I don't feel like being bothered. I do. It happens. But I'm learning to work through them. I'm learning to, to understand it, why I got to that moment. Feel that moment. Just don't stay there. And that's what I want to share. This journey is about me as well. I'm sharing my journey with you guys and what I'm learning, what I'm growing through, what's changing within me. I don't want to be the same person I've always been. Every day is a day to grow. Every day is a day to get better. Every day is a day to live towards your purpose and why you were placed on this earth. Everybody got a purpose on this earth. Everybody. What is that purpose? My purpose, especially here lately, I feel like I'm, 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 God is talking to me to be a motivational speaker. That's what's being placed on my heart and that's what I'm working towards, getting that platform together so I can come out and say, hey, listen, it's all right. It's gonna be okay. If you gotta get me on the phone and cry, cry, we'll cry together. If you gotta get me on the phone and you need to laugh, come on, let's laugh, let's talk about it. Let's feel it, let's grow through it, but also let's get through it. Life is wonderful. Let's make
make it wonderful. Let's 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 make it amazing because it is. And so that's what I just want to share. Let's get through them bad days. You may need to take a walk, jump some rope, do some crossword puzzles, play some games on your phone, call home. Hey, I love you. It's rough right now. I miss you. I'm not trying to put too much on you. But just know I'm here. I'm having a rough day. But I'm going to be all right. That's it. It's going to happen. But it's how we respond to it and get through it is what matters. One day at a time, one step at a time. Figuring out what works and what don't. Hey, this didn't work. But just because it didn't work this time, don't mean it's not gonna work next time. Speak it and claim it, speak that positivity. Claim that job, claim that promotion, claim that good health, claim being that disease, claim losing that weight, claim it. Claim that money in your savings account. Claim it all, speak it and claim it. Positivity. You put the positivity into the atmosphere, we react and we adapt to that. If not, your mind plays tricks on you. It will. That's all I want to leave you all with today. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it pumping. So as always, make sure you ride to your pickup and your delivery on time and safely. Call your loved ones. Tell them you love them. Love on somebody today. But most importantly, be the reason that somebody smiles today. The world needs it now more than ever. This is Sir Mel. Coming to you from the one and only Small Fry Show. And I'm out. Peace.